Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we have the Vivo Book S. This bad boy is 15.6 inches. Looks pretty good, right? It doesn't have those Zen circle, and it has some schmutz on it. I'm not cleaning that with my hand, uh, but it has it has these. It has a really nice design that looks a lot more premium than it is for 400. And $99. If we're being honest, this is a really good deal. If you're looking for a solid at home PC, 15.6 inches is a very good size. If you're looking for something that can be carried around, definitely you can do that because this is light enough. I can't remember the weight, but I would say that this is probably like 1.5 kilos. All right, my guessing was right. This is 1.5 kilos. Uh, it's running a an Intel, the, the seventh generation, but it's up to i7, it's U-series. This one comes with four gigabytes of RAM. I'm guessing there's probably gonna be eight gig gigabyte of RAM version as well. But what's nice about this is it comes with a GTX 940 graphics card. So why would the average person really need this? A gamer might be like, oh, I got a graphics card, but you know, it's the old one, so I kinda don't wanna get that one. But for $499, this would allow you to game, but also this would put you into the, I'm watching a lot of 4K movies, it has Sonic Master um, sound on the side here, and overall, I think like for a very nice thin and light machine, it's doing quite well. And if we take a look at the keyboard, the keyboard is really nice and large, because it is 15.6 inches, they have the, the room to kind of grow, so there's page up and down. Now, if you're using this for like a writing machine, now, what's been interesting is that this feels less bouncy than a lot of the more premium devices out there. The push right in the middle, it's doing pretty well, but on the, in the, on the side, so they must have actually put a bridge support in the middle for, for bounciness, which is actually quite nice. So some of their smaller devices could actually use from that, 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 that interesting construction there. So they have thought it out for a $499 device. Large trackpad, apparently this does have Windows Hello as well. Now if we just give this a quick close, and then go around to the side, we have the power, full-size uh, USB, full-size HDMI, which is really nice if you wanna connect this to your TV and push 4K to a larger monitor. Because this has the graphics card, this will definitely be able to support that. So I kind of see this as really targeting somebody who wants at-home mobility, who wants to use this as like a, a multimedia center for everything, and then it has a lot of future-proofing features as well. We have USB Type-C as well as a headphone jack. Now, for me, a 15.6 inch device is generally not something that I would recommend for on the go, but it's quite light enough, and it kind of gives you that versatility just a little bit. So we have two more full-size USB ports on the side, full-size card reader, and then we have some LEDs. So my first impressions of the Vivo Book S is that for $499, we are seeing something that really is like nicely built, good quality finish, thin-ish bezels on the side. This was actually one of Asus's main problems uh, in previous years is that their budget devices just had the big bezels, but they've kind of moved down to this nano edge technology on everything that they're making. That means they have the thinner bezels on the side, thinner on the top, and they keep the wider bezel down at the bottom, which is something that I still see as a problem, but I will take any improvement that I can get at this stage in the game. I can't wait to get my hands on this device for review because it even has little things like a matte display. So if you're using it outside on the go, right, it will kind of be able to stand direct sunlight without hitting massive pockets of glare. So all around, whew, this isn't a netbook. This is like the bigger one, but I still like it for the price point. Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks. Yeah.